My name is Gail Carson Levine, and my new book is A Tale of Two Castles. What is my favorite adventure, and how does it inspire my writing? And I'd like to kind of name two. One is Peter Pan by James M. Barry, and also Anything, almost, by Mark Twain. And the way that both of these authors, Barry and Twain, inspire my writing is that each of them has a way of looking at a situation and turning it sideways and turning it upside down and examining it from very surprising angles. And that is exactly what I like to do when I write and when I work from established stories. If you could have dinner with any adventurer from history or fiction, who would it be and why? And going back to my first answer, uh, I think I'd like to have dinner with Peter Pan. What would be the most fun about having dinner with Peter is his imagination. And I don't have a big appetite. Sometimes I'm not hungry at all, which is perfect for Peter because I don't think he had one either, and often his meals were imaginary. So we could make up the most great imaginary things. We could invent new ways to eat. We wouldn't make a mess. There would be no cleanup afterwards. Peter Pan would be my ideal dinner companion. If I was about to set out on an adventure, what five things what I like to bring with me. So the first that I think of that comes very easily, it would be like a short-term time machine. And the good thing about a short-term time machine is if I were facing an ogre, for example, and I was unprepared, I could take my short-term um, time machine and I could turn it back five minutes and then I could prepare and I could get ready for the ogre but if things weren't still weren't going right I could stop time go back another five minutes and I could keep doing that and since in life I need a lot of do-overs in fiction I need a lot of do-overs too in fact I think if I had that short-term time machine I wouldn't need any other magical uh, things what books TV shows, etc., inspired the characters, the setting, and the tale of A Tale of Two Castles. The main thing that got me started is the fairy tale Puss in Boots. If you remember the story of a Puss in Boots, it, uh, the climax is when the cat goes into the castle and meets the ogre and challenges the ogre to shapeshift. And the ogre shapeshifts first into a lion, and then at the cat's request into a mouse. The cat eats the mouse, and the cat's master takes possession of the ogre's castle. The thing that appealed to me about that is that the cat walks in, and there's an ogre inside. Cat walks out. There are no, mis no witnesses to what happened. So it was fun to imagine what really might have gone on in that ogre's castle. And I built the story around the ogre's castle, although there is very little left of the original Puss in Boots. Can you give any hints for what's next for Elodie? Elodie is the main character of A Tale of Two Castles, and that takes place in the town of Two Castles, which is on the mainland. But Elodie is from the island of Lant, and she returns with her two friends to the island of Lant and finds that the island is in grave danger and something has been taken. And Elodie and her two friends need to find it and get it back or the island will be destroyed. Thank you very much. It's been a delight to talk to you about A Tale of Two Castles.